Hey what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I just watched Werewolf by Night from Marvel Studios. This thing was amazing. I know everyone is praising it right now. Some people are saying this is the best Disney Plus Marvel thing they've ever put out. And I don't know if I'm like there just yet, but it was very, very good. This is something completely different for the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and I absolutely loved it. Like it's spooky season right now, it's October. Werewolf by Night is of course like a Halloween kind of theme hero you know being like a werewolf of course and I had a blast watching this it is a Marvel special presentation and it ran for about 48 49 minutes technically it's almost like an hour on Disney Plus but there's about 10 minutes of credits the official synopsis for the movie online reads on a dark and somber night a secret cabal of monster hunters emerge from the shadows and gather at the bloodstone temple following the death of their leader and the attendees are thrust into a mysterious and deadly competition for a powerful relic. And the relic that the description of the movie is talking about is the Bloodstone. And that's essentially the story without giving a lot away is like all of these monster hunters gather for this funeral for Ulysses Bloodstone. And what made this guy so popular and so famous was that he possessed the actual Bloodstone, which gives a huge advantage in monster hunting because all of the people who are coming to his funeral are monster hunters. So you can see why they would want to win this hunt and get this bloodstone in order to be like the top hunter and lead the group of monster hunters in the future and in order to prove that they are the best hunter they have to hunt down this monster in this almost like maze where they basically run into the other hunters and they're all pretty hostile because they want that bloodstone and it was just really cool seeing all of these different new monster hunter characters interact with one another and they also respect each other but at the end of the day like they don't care if they have to kill each other in order to get this relic so so it was pretty interesting, you know, having like a character be like, you know what, I really respect you, like you're awesome. And then like 10 minutes later, they're trying to kill each other to get this relic. Really fun aspect to play with in this mini movie. Now the creature that the monster hunters are trying to track down in this maze is Man-Thing. A really weird character in Marvel Comics, but he has a really cool character design and a pretty interesting story. And I'm glad that he's finally in the MCU now. He is definitely a character you need when you hit the supernatural and just dark and creepy side of Marvel. So basically all of the monster hunters are trying to take down Man-Thing and it is so fun to watch and there's a really big twist that I did not see coming at all with this character and I thought that twist worked pretty well for the story. Overall though this mini movie was fantastic like the set design was amazing. Everything looked so unique and so different compared to anything we've seen before in the MCU. The music and sound effects used in this movie as well was fantastic like it honestly felt like an old school horror movie and since they went that horror movie route there was a few things that are kind of trademarked with that like jump scares I didn't find them super scary or anything I think there was maybe like two or three jump scares they were pretty mild though I wouldn't say they're gonna like scare little kids or make you like drop your food and like you know jump in fear or anything like that but they were in this movie the cinematography in this was really nice too and a lot of you probably know but it was actually a black and white movie so it kind of gave off the same vibes as when you were watching Wanda vision for the first time. Everything's black and white, you're in a new environment, you're trying to figure out what's going on, but since it was black and white it truly felt like one of those old horror movies and I really really like that because it really made it feel like an old school film which made it feel very unique. Now the director for this special presentation was Michael Giacchino. A lot of you probably know him as the composer for a ton of different movies. He's worked on projects like Thor Love and Thunder, Inside Out, Ratatouille, The Incredibles, and the Batman that came out this year. This guy is crazy talented and the fact that he went to go on to direct an MCU special presentation and it was this good really surprised me but to be honest it shouldn't surprise me because he's a veteran in the film industry and I'm really happy for the guy you know. I'm hoping this kind of opens the door for him to direct more MCU properties. Maybe they even allow him to make special presentations for Halloween every year involving the werewolf by night characters and everything. I think that would be really cool if if Marvel ever watches this they probably won't but I think it would be amazing if every single Halloween like spooky season we get a special presentation from Marvel Studios involving those weird obscure and creepy characters like Werewolf by Night. It would be something to look forward to every Halloween and maybe next year they do like a full feature length film like a two hour movie with Werewolf by Night or the other characters that surround him. I think that would be amazing and I really really hope that they do that. Also this was a show that 
was very, very intriguing because we kind of get dropped into this new part of the MCU. Monsters, monster hunters, it's black and white. We're trying to figure out what's going on. We're getting introduced to all of these characters. It was just a very immersive show. And personally, I know if I'm invested in a show or a movie by how often I touch or look at my phone. And I'm happy to announce that I did not grab my phone once while watching Werewolf by Night. I was just fully locked into this, just watching every single moment, trying to look for Easter eggs and just appreciating the cinematic style to this special presentation because it isn't like anything we've really seen before in Marvel. And I just had a great time overall, but I guess we should probably talk about the characters that we got introduced to. I'm just going to talk about some of the bigger name ones because this video is going to be super long if I go and talk about every single one of them. So the main character we'll talk about first is Jack Russell, aka Werewolf by Night. He's played by Gail Garcia Bernal, and I thought he did a great job. Like, he brought a lot of emotion to the character. He even brought, like, canine mannerisms because he is a werewolf. So there's one scene in this movie where he's, like, scratching his ear almost like a dog, and he just had this charismatic and, like, interesting persona in this movie. I wouldn't say he had a ton to do in this movie. He was kind of, uh, toned down a little bit. Like, he wasn't, like, crying or doing anything, like, super emotional. But for his first appearance in the MCU, being a new character and we have to be introduced to him and like him, I think he did a great job. The next character is Elsa Bloodstone, played by Laura Donnelly. Pretty solid character overall too. She's basically Ulysses Bloodstone's daughter. She hasn't been part of this kind of uh, monster hunter cult for a long time now. She doesn't even really like her family and that's why she's kept her distance. And I think her character is going to be really interesting moving forward in the MCU because I'm sure she's going to be part of some kind of team up movie involving the werewolf by night, maybe man thing, and some other creepier Marvel heroes. Maybe she's part of Midnight Suns, who knows? But overall, I did like her character. She's a skilled fighter. She obviously has a very complicated past with her family, and her dad being like the head monster hunter is obviously a burden to her and how she deals with that and how she's perceived. And overall, I think she's a pretty solid addition to the MCU. And watching Elsa Bloodstone and Jack Russell just kind of talk and do things together in this movie really worked for me and I'm excited to see them in their next Marvel project. I think they're just two really interesting characters that obviously aren't utilized a lot in Marvel Comics, so I'm hoping they use them a lot more in live action as of right now. Then we got another character who is named Verusa, who is just very, very creepy. She's like the stepmom to Elsa Bloodstone. She absolutely despises Elsa, and she was a great character in this special presentation because she was kind of like the antagonist to Elsa, and watching them just talk and bicker with one another was just a joy. And then the last character that I'm going to talk about is Man-Thing because he is a CGI monster. I thought his character design looked like it was ripped right out of the comics and it translated really well into live action. And he is just a very creepy and weird character, you know? Like he's walking around in this black and white movie which makes him look even more menacing in my opinion. He's making all these creepy sounds and everyone's kind of freaked out but they still want to hunt him and everything. Really, really cool character character to bring to the MCU and he's gonna be like that big brooding character similar to like the Hulk or the Thing and I'm assuming he's gonna be on a supernatural super team eventually and I just can't wait to see it because his character design was honestly flawless and I just want to see him again but he was solid in this film. I keep calling it a movie or a film because it honestly kind of is one it's just a short version of a movie but yeah Man-Thing's first MCU outing was a success I would say. One other positive that I have with this show is that it is super gory. It leans into the horror, but it also shows a lot of violence, which was very, very nice. There is some pretty gruesome deaths in here, you know? Like, people are getting stabbed in the head with swords, arms are getting chopped off. I didn't think Marvel was gonna go that far, and there was a lot of blood splatter. Some even went right onto the camera lens in some scenes, and I think they kind of got away with it because it is black and white. You're not showing, like, red blood or anything, so who knows? Maybe that's how they got away with it, but it was very gruesome compared to to what we've got in the MCU in the past, which made this horror movie feel even more like a true horror movie. But yeah, honestly, I don't really have that many negatives with it. Like, the only main negative that I can even think of is the runtime. I wish this was like a two, two and a half hour movie, because when it was ending, I quickly just hit the pause button just so that the time bar pops up, and I saw that there was only like a couple of minutes left, and I was like, no, like, please don't end, because I was enjoying it a lot. Like I said, I didn't even pick up my phone once. I was just so engaged with what I was watching. And the fact that it ended at around the 
49 minute mark I was kind of bummed out because I did want to see more. The characters were likable, they were interesting, the story was really interesting too and I just wanted more. So maybe next year if they do another special presentation maybe it's not a special presentation just make it like a MCU Disney Plus film. Overall though guys you should definitely watch Werewolf by Night on Disney Plus. I think it's a great time. It's definitely one of the best things from Marvel on Disney Plus hands down and since it is spooky season you should definitely check this out. We've got werewolves, we got monster hunters, black and white horror movie. It's a Marvel movie like what else could you want? If you guys have seen it let me know down below in the comments what you guys thought about it. I've already watched it two times. I might watch it a third time. I just truly enjoyed it that much. It was something refreshing, something different. But yeah that is it for my review of Werewolf by Night. Thank you for watching. If you guys are new to the channel make sure you like and subscribe. Other than that I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video.